Hi, in this video, we want to demonstrate how we would consume our test complete or test execute automated test results inside of Zephyr. We can do this through several different methods, and it really depends on which method you prefer to use. We can use the Vortex application inside of Zephyr Enterprise to either trigger our tests, our automation test suite, or listen for results from where it runs somewhere else, maybe as part of a script routine, or we can trigger as part of our CI pipeline in Jenkins and consume those results directly from that job. First things first, in our test complete project, you may want to configure your execution plan to contain the items that you want to run as part of that project. And you can use this to define what runs, what order, what dependencies you want to create. But if you don't even configure the execution plan, you can configure your project and call project items, like for example, my login test here, directly from inside of your um, tool of choice to trigger the results. So once that's configured or not, we can use either a script method, like on screen right now, you see a simple batch file using the command line interface of test execute. This is also available for test complete. We pass in um, our license credential so we can trigger the license and the application. And we specify things like the name of the project uh, run is inferred, uh, the project name inside that project suite, and then we can configure whatever else items like exporting our log in a certain format. But in the terms of Zephyr, very importantly, the XML result file, which Zephyr will consume. So if I was to run this locally on my machine, that would generate this XML file, and I could consume that using one of the jobs on Zephyr. So let's jump to Zephyr, and we'll go to the Vortex application. So in Vortex, we have three options, the script automation, suite automation, and folder watcher. With suite automation, I can trigger that exact batch file that we have on screen by creating a job, giving it some simple configuration, but the important part is to trigger that script file and tell it where the result will go to. Once we have that information, the Zbot, which can be downloaded from your account on Zephyr Enterprise, can consume the result. It will create a cycle name, a folder to store the automated test cases, since we don't need to create the instances for them. Uh, it's already done by the automation tool. We can assign for a user and assign a cycle start and end date. So that's the suite automation. If I was to choose another option like Folder Watcher, where I have some other tool, whether it's a pipeline tool, CI tool, or script um, process, we can use a similar Folder Watcher job, which doesn't trigger anything, but instead just listens to the folder path with the Zbot and applies the same logic where it will consume and generate those tests. Now, if we're using Jenkins to run our automation tests, we can use either the Folder Watcher job or configure our job to run and consume the results all in one go. So I have a Jenkins job here for test complete. If I can click on configure, there's two things I'm concerned with. My repository where I will get my result, my test cases from, but the build environment, the build steps, this is my test complete plugin. So I will configure the project, what I want to run, so maybe the entire suite as defined by the execution plan, maybe an individual test, maybe tests by tags, maybe script tests, or an individual keyword test. So I could specify my shop QA team, for example, and the login test if I want to run a single test. Some other options under advanced, importantly to decide what your agent test runner will be. This, in my case, will be test execute. It depends what's installed on the machine. You will need to provide an access key, which you can store in Jenkins, as I've done here. And an important additional command line parameter here is to generate the XML file result that Jenkins will send to Zephyr. So how do we send that to Zephyr? That is done in a post build action. So under post build actions, we can add an action to parse the result to Zephyr Enterprise. We will configure our Zephyr Enterprise instance, select our project, release, and cycle that we want to post the result to for this job. 
and we give the path, the relative path of the workspace to that results file. In my case, it's in this folder. After that, when the job runs, in the console output, we can see that the test complete ran the tests. It found in the results, in this case, one test case, and posted it to Zephyr. In Zephyr, it creates a test execution phase and cycle that will contain that test, in the case, my login test. It's updated with the status. And in the test repository, it applies it to the folder I asked it to apply it to, which is the automation folder. And that's it. In that single test, um, test complete job, Jenkins pipeline, we ran our tests, gathered our result, and consumed it in Zephyr, and it generates the test cases here, where we can then map it to the requirement that we want to map it to, which will persist in future runs. That's it. Hope this helps.